Good day viewers. <laughs> Today I came up with something very important uh, which is the logarithm of numbers less than 1. To many students, uh, logarithm of numbers less than 1 is the most difficult thing in the aspect of logarithm. And this is the, due to the fact that they fail to understand the significant steps required in order to solve a logarithm of numbers less than 1. If you are watching this video, kindly concentrate, pay attention. I am going to display all the necessary steps required in order to solve a logarithm of numbers effectively. Evaluate uh, the key rate of 0 0.05481. If you look at this question, it is not in logarithm form. So I want to use a single stone and uh, kill two birds at the same time. You, uh, this is a question which you can just use your calculator and evaluate. But we are going to use logarithm and in order to simplify it. Do when you are given this type of question is try as much as you can to transform this uh, number into a standard form. So the standard form of 0 0.05481 is 5 5.481 5 5 is 5481 times 10 raised to the power of negative 2. You have to migrate this very point to this particular place. And how many times do we move the decimal places? 1, 2. That's why we have a negative 2. That is the first step. Then use laws of indices to also transform the cubit so that you have something like this. 5.481 times 10 raised to the power of negative 2. All raised to the power of 1 over 3. Because from law of indices, uh, cube root of this number is the same thing as uh, this number raised to the power of 1 over 3. Then you are free to take this one and look for the real values under your log table. So this is how we do it. Number. Then logarithm. The number is this one, which is 5. 0.481 times 10 raised to the power of negative 2. Forget about this one. Later on, we are going to introduce it. So, logarithm comprises of two things. The characteristics and the mantissa. The characteristics is the power of 10 when the number is transformed into a standard form. And the power of 10 is negative 2. But we are not going to write it as negative 2 but bar 2. Because it is only this index that is negative without the numbers. The numbers are not negative. Only the index is negative. Then point. Then you bring your mantissa. A mantissa uh, is being of 10 here under the table. And uh, these are the numbers 5.481. Uh, so we are going to look at what? 54 under 8 difference of 1. Then 50. 4 is here under my table. I have it here. 54 under 8 is 7388. 7388. Then you look for the difference of 1. Whatever you get, you add it to this number. And the difference of 1 here, I have 1. So you add 1, which is 7389. If you add them together, then you bring the numbers here, which is 738. Nine. So this is the logarithm. This is the logarithm of this number. Then we move on because we have a rest to the power of 1 over 3. And then from law of logarithm, if you have a power, if you have log n to the power of x, is the same thing as x times what? Log of n. But the power is fraction. Definitely we are going to divide the log. So here we have 5.481 times 10 raised to the power of negative 2 all to the power of 1 over 3. It's the same thing as dividing this number by, by 2.7389 divided by 3. So we are going to divide this number by 3. But remember it is only this number that is negative while this one is positive. Therefore, you, go, you are going to split them. So you, we have something like this bar 2 plus 0 
8, 9. The, the whole of them divide by 3. But you, you cannot divide by 2 by, by 3 unless you have to think of a way to change this number in such a way that it will be divisible by 3. And how do we do that? By introducing, remember this number is negative uh, 2. Negative 2, negative 1 will give us negative 3. So you can divide negative 3 by 3. So by introducing negative 1, you have to introduce positive 1. Because negative 1 plus positive 1 is 0. It's like you have not added anything here. So we are going to introduce negative 1 here and a positive 1 here. So we have something like this. Battery plus 1.738 the whole of them divide by 3 you see we have introduced negative 1 here and it gives us negative 3 and we introduce 1 here to give us 1 minus 1 plus 1 is 0 so here is just like we have not added anything then you divide this by this and this by this independently but 3 divided by 3 is by 1 then plus 1.7389 divided by 3 let me use my calculator i have something like this 1.7389 divided by 3 and this is what i got 0 0.5796 this is what the calculator gave me then if you add them together, you are going to obtain by 1.5796. So this number is the logarithm of what? This number. But remember, the value given to us is not in logarithm form. I am the one that introduced logarithm to this particular number. Therefore, you have to introduce anti-logarithm in order to take here of the logarithm. Until logarithm is just the opposite of logarithm. So let's see what until logarithm says. You have to uh, float another table because this is just a table of logarithm. Then table of number until logarithm until logarithm. The number is this one, which is by one point five. Seven, nine, six. Then you are going to open a page of anti-logarithm. The first page here is a table of logarithm. Then you go to the next page, which is the page of anti-logarithm. Under anti-logarithm, all numbers begin with decimal point. So we are going to begin with point five seven. Instead of this number, I will tell you when to use this number. But begin with point a number because that is how it is being arranged here. Then we are going to look for 0.57 on the difference of 7, difference of 6, sorry. Uh, 57 is here, 57 is here. Then on the 9, the last column there, which is 3, 7, 9, 3. 3, 7, 9, 3. Then we look for difference of 6. Whatever you get, you add it to this number. Difference of 6 is 5. So we are going to add 5 here. So we have 8, 9, 7, 3. So this is the number we are going to place here. But remember, it should start like this. You place your point here. Instead of bringing the numbers like this, place your point here. So you have 7, 9, 8 times 10. Rest to the power of negative 1. This is the index of 10, remember? So negative 1. And this is the same thing as, if you multiply this one, you are going to have something like this. 0.3798. So this is the simplification after evaluating this particular number. You can use your calculator and test whether you are going to get the same value or not.